Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, just a bit of an update video really on what I've been doing over the last week. Um, sort of a good, bad and ugly video really. Uh, before I move on to the actual content, um, first of all a little shout out for a Necron buddy of mine, uh, Seb1234666. Um, I shall put a link below uh, this video, but yeah, go and check out his channel. He's doing some really creative stuff with his Necrons and um, really good guy so I'm sure I'd appreciate you going over uh, checking out some of his vids and uh, maybe even subscribing if you like what you see so yeah um, Tomb Spiders as you probably all know I've got um, well, I've made five Tomb Spiders already the old Alta Production ones and I managed to get another one off eBay recently he's given me six which um, it's timed out quite well really because obviously the new models are coming out and um, really looking forward to, to seeing those in the flesh. They look pretty cool from what I've seen in the pictures. Um, now I was trying to fit those new models into my army really because um, originally I was going to have two units of the old ones and then one unit of the new one but to be fair I mean, the new ones are, are pretty different to these. I'm not sure they're actually going to match in. So um, come up with a, an idea which I think is a good idea uh, hence the title Good, Bad and Ugly. You'll see the bad and ugly a little bit later in the video. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy uh, three of the new models and I'm going to uh, convert them into the uh, Gloom Prism one because I always take uh, two normal and one Gloom Prism. So I'm going to convert them all into Gloom Prisms and then I'm going to put one in each unit of two. So I'll have two old ones which will be the standard spider and then the new one will be the gloom prism so they'll be spread out in each unit so hopefully the three units will sort of look quite even and, and match into the army so yeah I'm quite happy with that little plan that's what I'm going to do um, I'm not going to rush out and buy the gloom prisms because I'm still working on you know using six spiders to go with other scarabs that I've got so um, looking forward to playing those so yeah, I've been working on the new one I got from eBay, uh, which is here, which I've stripped, pretty much stripped it down. I've been filling in all the uh, mould lines with green stuff and uh, trying to come up with a bit of a new pose for this guy. Um, rather than just having him like floating on the base, I'm going to have him almost sitting up like so. So I've repositioned the, the head right the way down so that when he's sitting he's still looking forward and I've <clears throat> got uh, his base and what I've done is put some grey stuff or green stuff on there and I've, uh, while it's wet so I've pushed him into the position so that I've got sort of a nice gluing area for um, him to sit on the base because the, the point, you know, the contact points on the base are quite minimal um, but with this I can sort of put it into the, the sections that I've already moulded so that I've got somewhere to actually glue him onto so yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. A bit undecided about his gun, which I've got ready. It's all pinned, um, but I need to work out which position to have it. So what do you reckon, guys? Um, it's either going to be sort of in the up position, something like that, or possibly just sort of having him pointing it forward. So yeah, I'd appreciate any comments on that, whether you think it should be sort of in the up position or forward. But uh, hopefully it'll look pretty cool. I mean, when he's actually sitting on the base, he's about the same height. Well, pretty much is the same height as a normal spider. So he's gonna gonna match him, and hopefully just look a bit different. Um, it's just something I was uh, having a bit of fun with. So yeah, that's been my good project um, over this week since I finished painting my ghost arcs. Um, and now on to the bad, potentially the ugly as well, and that's. Uh, these little beauties here, the venom throats. So I've got two of these, and I'll tell you what, I've had awful trouble with these things. <coughs> um, I really like the models actually, I really like the, the design. Um, but it's this fine cast, it's just absolutely terrible. I've had, um, I really not enjoyed putting these together, it's been a mission. When I first got them, I opened up the box, and these tentacle things here, uh, they bent out of shape. 
uh, right the way over here so I had to put them in hot water and bend them back in and I've done that quite nicely um, I had to check I checked them out roughly and they seem to be quite reasonable so I put them aside um, then I got them out again I've chopped them all down and upon filing all the mould lines down I've discovered far more things wrong with them than I initially thought um, to the point that I wish I'd sort of taken them back really um, if I'd seen all the, the defects before I actually started like, filing half of it down um, you know I, I would have done I think I would have taken them back but yeah um, like these spines here for example are supposed to be all hollowed out but on this one it was like, absolutely flat there was no hollow uh, area at all so I had to scoop it all out with my file and everything and uh, the usual mould lines which are on there uh, quite atrocious really I mean all these tentacles um, I haven't actually I mean, I've filled here this in with every with my green stuff well grey stuff but all these tentacles it's like all these holes and it's not until you actually start filing down the uh, mould lines that these sort of start to, to pop out and you can it's sort of almost like it's hollow down the tube um, I know I could I know I could still probably take them back because I've done so much work on them. I've been working on them literally all week. And um yeah, it's very disappointing, very frustrating. And then also what happened, um well I don't know if I lost it in in the kerfuffle of, of actually like working on these over the last week or not, but one of them had one of these fins missing from the box. Um either that or I lost it. I mean I don't know. So yeah, I had to then to make myself a green stuff one well, again this grey stuff but yeah so I had to make this so this fin here um, is what I did myself just to try and match it in so it's come out quite well quite happy with it but obviously it took a bit more time um, and then on top of that for some reason I've got an extra one of these I did actually panic a bit to be fair because I was starting to, to file these down and I thought, oh no, I've got one of these missing as well. But in actual fact, I look on the box and and the actual figure, and there's only two two slots for arms. So it should be two, four, six. There should be eight of these things. I've got nine, so I've got one extra. So whether that's because of this missing fin, so maybe I've got an extra one of those and not the fin. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Um, but. As a bonus, I thought I could potentially use that as a lash whip for my Tyranid Prime. So hopefully I can make use of that, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I was very disappointed with these really, to be fair. Uh, fine cast, I just, I really, really don't like it. I mean, I've only had like, three models so far with fine cast, and they've all been just atrocious, they've been terrible. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I know you can take them back, but half the time I'm a bit scared to take them back in case I get a worse one. And I don't know, I could then obviously take that back again, but it's like, how far do you go? How many times do you take them back? Um, I think you're just going to, well, arg arguably accept what you get and just put that extra work in, which is what I've had to do with these guys. Um, very disappointing, and yeah, it's just not a good move, I think. If GW don't up upgrade the quality of their fine car stuff pretty soon I mean, I'm sure there must be many many very disappointed people um, with the fine car stuff so there you go but what can you do so yeah a um, bit of a rant really I suppose on these guys really to be fair but uh, that's what I've been doing in the last week believe it or not so hopefully I nearly finished these it's got green stuff in all these holes and these tentacle things and then uh, spray, glue them on, spray them up, and uh, get ready to paint them. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, any comments below would be most appreciated.